In this video, I will show you how to fix or troubleshoot power management settings are missing in Windows 11. The first easier solution is to check for your OS update. For that, first you have to go to the start menu to the settings and from here just go to the Windows update and see if your firmware update is available or not. If it's available, just update and see if your issues are solved or not. Now the next solution is to switch to the balanced performance plan. Now for that, just press the start button and then go to the control panel. You can search for control panel here, you will get the app, just open it. Now from here, click on hardware and sound option. And now you will see the power option here, just click on the power options. Now you have to make sure that the balanced option power plan is checked. Also you can create a new power plan here. You can just click on create new power plan and you can create a new power plan based on your requirement. You can see that I already created a power plan for gaming. If you want that you can select that or just go to the balanced section. And the next method is to run the power troubleshooter. Now for that, here just click on the start button then go to the settings and make sure that you are on the systems and on the right pane just scroll down and click on troubleshoot. Now from here navigate to other troubleshooters and just go down and find power and click on run. I will start detecting the issues related to the power management and will possibly find a solution to your issues. Now another solution is to update your battery driver. For that right click on the uh, windows button and select device manager from here. Now from here just go and expand the battery section and then right click on uh, the Microsoft AC adapter and just update the driver. It will start searching for the updated driver and will check if the best driver is installed or not. Repeat the same with complaint control method battery. Just update and see if it solves the issue. Now the last solution is to reset your PC but, but understand that this option will impact your whole system or operating system. So consider this as a last option. For that just go to the settings from there, from here scroll down and find recovery and uh, click on reset PC and follow the process. As I said earlier, this is the last solution you must be considering. So thanks for watching this video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.